this little sparrow just received a very embarrassing title, the world's most promiscuous bird. That's according to a new study co-authored by biologist Chris Elphick, who studied the unusual breeding habits of the salt marsh sparrow in the tidal marshes of Connecticut. One of the things that we have done is to um, actually measure the rate of promiscuity. At a certain age, we're able to take small blood samples from the chicks, and we also uh, get blood samples from the mothers. And using that, those samples, we can do simple paternity tests, very similar to the types of paternity tests that are used in humans. And by comparing the DNA of the chicks, we can determine whether they share the same father or not. And what they found would put guests of those sleazy paternity test talk shows to shame. We found that they are uh, exceedingly promiscuous. Usually there are four or five chicks in a nest, and typically there are two to three fathers per nest. But in a third of nests, every single chick has a different father. While most species of birds do practice what researchers call extra pair mating, finding up to five different fathers per nest is very unusual, and Elphick noted that it could be a response to the sparrow's extreme environment. These birds are very vulnerable to tidal flooding. It's the main reason why nests fail, because they're right down low in the marsh, and on a particularly high tide, a lot of the nests will just flood, and the eggs will either float away um, or the chicks will drown. Very high tides occur about every four weeks, which is the same amount of time it takes for the bird to raise a family, making them quick to find new partners and start a new nest when one is destroyed. And promiscuity isn't the only unusual trait among the sparrows. They don't have territories. In, in most birds, there'll be a male who defends a territory, and, um, and he will mate with a female, and they will together raise the offspring. That doesn't happen in these birds. They're not territorial. They don't form pair bonds. Besides giving the birds a sordid reputation, Elphick's research also looks at how sea level rise could threaten their already declining habitat. Uh, the marshes flood quite frequently, and if the rate at which the, the marshes flood increases, then we expect that that will uh, be not at all good for these birds. And, and we, we've seen some early indications of that, although it's difficult to attribute them to climate change, but we are seeing pretty high levels of nest failure due to flooding. The study was published in the latest edition of the journal The Auk. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas.